and welcome to the fourth and final part of our Shopping Season Insights series with Snap, where we've been exploring how performance advertisers can maximise performance and immerse in every moment this shopping season. I'm Jenny Baker, Assistant Editor at The Drum, and here with me today to round out the series, I'm joined by Shivani Singh, Analytics Manager at Snap. We're going to talk about how to build momentum throughout the shopping season, the best times to activate and why you shouldn't stop activities at the end of Q4. Welcome, Shivani. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here and share some insights with you. We're looking forward to hearing them. So obviously, as we build up to the busy shopping season, competition is high and advertisers are really vying for attention to capture those all important shopping budgets. So what do they really need to be thinking about to, to be able to stand out? These ten pole events in the shopping season, I think it's it has changed quite a bit. It's no longer about that singular moment or that impression. It's about the consistent engagement and interaction with the audience. One of the pivotal things we've noticed is after back to school and heading into the holiday rush is when the brands can actually get into the mindset of the audience. For testing purposes, we've noticed October being a great month. At that time, it's cheap to advertise on Snap. We've seen good return on investments at that particular period of time, and we've seen great engagement. So I think that is the time where they need to capitalize and engage with the Snapchatters. And, you know, we're in a bit of a challenging market this year, I guess, compared to last year. But you have lots of kind of insights and stats about what works, what doesn't. So are there any kind of insights from last year that might give us some hints at what we can expect this year? You're right. This year is going to be a little bit different uh, versus previous year. There's going to be slight deviations, but there are definitely trends that we will be seeing on Snap. We see that the spend is quite high at these key shopping moments like Cyber Monday, Thanksgiving, which actually drives the CPM quite high. So that's something to keep in mind. And as I mentioned, October, we've seen the CPM being quite low for all of the holiday season. That is where um, they should probably be using that time to do brand awareness, to do testing, and especially do creative A-B testing. So we've got this start testing early in October. And then what about after the holiday season? A lot of advertisers will tend to stop there, but why should they not? What a lot of advertisers tend to go wrong is they put so much effort and focus into these key moments, which, to be honest, is not the reality of how a shopper shops anymore. The way the users are, and especially in these key moments of Q4, where you have like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, it's not that realistic because it's the supply chain issues, then also the always shopping moment, or that there are deals running throughout the year. So the Snapchatters are like constantly engaging on the app. The other thing that we've noticed is you shouldn't stop momentum the moment the shopping season ends and you kind of head into the New Year's. That particular time is really valuable. What we've noticed is eight out of 10 shoppers are actually looking at that time frame to be able to look at deals, to be able to look at sales. From the Snap's perspective, what we've seen is that the CPM uh, drops by like 30 to 40 percent, which actually leads to cost of purchase to be down by 30 percent. So overall, if you wrap it up, I think from the advertiser's perspective, you have low cost options and you have high return on investment. So it's the perfect time to be doing advertising in a cost efficient fashion. I'm sure a lot of performance advertisers will be happy to hear that. Um, but obviously, performance and creative go hand in hand. So what are some of the creative best practice principles that you would share with people to make sure they make the most of this? Yeah, so for creative, it's very important to have a shot, have it precise, and have it direct. Sound has actually worked quite well, so but using it in a purposeful manner. You should always play to your strength. One of the important things is to push for a singular message and direct action through your creatives. And you know, after doing all of that, once you figure out what works, you just scale up and spend on it. So armed with all of these insights, what would your key takeaways be? I would say there are three main takeaways. A, be testing your creative. October is the perfect time. Test out different creatives so you see what works, what doesn't work. Test out something new which you haven't tried before. The second thing to keep in mind would be product launches. So I think it's a great time to test out different products. We have a lot of different products that can work really well for you, but you've just been hesitant to test it out. And finally, I would say don't stop the momentum and keep it going after the holiday season uh, to capitalize, like in the New Year's. Well, thank you so much, Shivani. And that marks the end of our series. It is a challenging time, but there's a real opportunity to lean into new formats like augmented reality, 
Test and learn as you go. Start testing early, measure, iterate, and keep that momentum going into Q5 and beyond. Now, if you missed part one, two, and three of this series, head over to The Drum TV, where you'll find the whole series and more. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you soon.